Hey, this is Matthias Ringer with Guitar Control and today you're going to be learning this really cool song by Halsey called Without Me. It has a really, really awesome arpeggio that I think is going to be very useful and really fun to play. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons and there's a link in the description, tap on it or click on it and you're going to get the tab. Let's get down to it. All right, so the first thing that we should check, we should check out the progression that's happening. Now, keep in mind that this is the original way to play it. So. I know that sometimes people like to put a capo here and there to make it easier, but this one is the one that you can play straight up with the song. So for this one, we're going to have a few chords. Let's let's lay down the basics and then we're going to go into the specific shapes, okay? So the actual first chord that is happening is an E flat minor, seven. Then after that, we go into an F major. Of course, this is not the shape, but we're going to get into that in a second. Um, so from here, we're going to a D flat or C sharp um, major. And then from there, we go into a G sharp minor or A flat minor. Right. Now, stay with me because at the end, I'm going to show you a very easy way to play this in acoustic guitar and it's going to be using open, mostly open chords. So it's going to be very easy. So back to the original one, we're going to start on this chord. I'm going to show you, you're going to place your index finger on the sixth fret all across the strings, all right? And uh, then you're going to grab your index finger and you're going to place it on the eighth fret of the fourth string and your middle finger on the seventh fret of the second string, okay? After that, um, you have your chord, your E flat minor seven. What you're going to do here with your fingers or with a pick, whatever you prefer, uh, you're going to go all, you're going to play all the notes starting from the fifth to the first. So you're going to go five, four, three, two, one, right? The way that I like to play with the fingers, I like to play the thumb on the fifth, then I put it, I bring down the thumb to the fourth and play the fourth as well. But you can do it in any way, you know, I mean, if you prefer doing it with your four fingers and just go like, if you prefer to use the pick, right, and go like, I find it a little bit hard, but I mean, you can also go, like, could be useful to go up with the pick, okay, to stroke up like, but then again, you have to like, play some chords later, notes at the same time, and it might be difficult, but Anyway, so that's the first chord. Right after that, we're going to check out what you're going to do. You're going to grab your index finger, your ring finger, and put it on the ninth fret of the fifth string, okay? Index finger is going to stay where it was. You know that it was right here on the sixth. It's going to stay on the sixth, but not all over the string. It's going to go into the uh, third string only. So, and then with your pinky, you're gonna go into the ninth fret. If this is too hard for you, you can just skip all the skip the third string and just play five, the fifth string and the second string. So you're like maybe that works. You know, if you put a lot of reverb, it's gonna to work totally. I I just prefer the sound of this. But anyway, right after that, you're going to go into the fourth fret with your index. Okay of the fourth fret of the uh, fifth string. And uh, you're going to play a D major. For that, you're going to, D major is going to be the same as your regular A major that you have it right here. So, you know, you usually play your A major like this, right? With the index, middle and uh, ring finger. Well, swap the fingers, like bring each, like instead of playing with this three, play them with this three. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna grab that thing and move it to the sixth fret and then put the index on the fourth. That's it. That's your D flat major, okay? So for that, you're gonna go the same as the big, uh, as the first one, that was like, same pattern, but here. Five, four, three, two, one. And right after that, check this out. Uh, super easy to do. What you're gonna do, you're gonna keep your fingers where they are, all of them, except the middle and the ring finger, which are going to come up a string. 
and you're going to play at the same time you're gonna play I mean if you're playing with a pick just play all the notes except the first one right if you're playing with your fingers just play try to play the sixth the fourth the third and the second one and that's it with the pick right and um, so you're gonna repeat that but right before playing this chord you're gonna do which is going to be on the second string 7th fret and 6th fret okay go back to this one but check out, the, the second time that we repeat this, instead of playing this one, you're going to simply move these two frets down. If you're playing with the pick, play all the notes. If you're playing with the finger, try to aim for the fifth, third, second, first. And that's it. Anyway, so that is the original way to play it. Now, you could totally change it up, you say, because you're like, well, I cannot play those complicated chords, it's really hard. So a way to do it would be to probably to transpose it step up to like E, that could probably work, right? So that's going to be actually very simple to play. You're going to go into E minor. Of course, in this case, you're not going to be playing the arpeggio, unless, unless, of course, if you would like to, I'm going to show you in a second a way to play with the capo. That might be easy. But for this one, just like play the chords in, and sing it alone and don't worry about that arpeggio. Just play E minor, you know, middle finger on the second fret of the fifth, ring finger on the second fret of the fourth, the rest are open. Then you go into the G. You must know, you definitely know a G. And if you don't know the G, middle on the third of a six, index on the second of the fifth, and uh, ring on the third of the first. Then D major, you place your index on the second fret of the third, ring on the third of the second string, and middle on the second of the first. And then, the infamous C major. For that one, uh, third fret of the fifth string, second fret of the fourth, and first fret of the second. Now, an easy way to play this with the capo, what you can do is you can go into an A minor and start there, and then go into a C major that I just showed you, right? But instead of this C major, you're going to place the pinky there, or you can do it like this. So it's like third, second, open, third. So. And keeping that, you just move this two up. And then you bring this one like that. So that's gonna be third, second, and first of the second string, third string, and fourth string. So. And now you can transpose that. I don't have a capo right now, but you could potentially write that. Right. And it might sound very similar. But anyway. That's all for today. I hope you've enjoyed this lesson. It's a really cool song. And uh, there's really, really, really amazing arpeggios and riffs on pop music nowadays. So you should definitely check out this song. And um, that's it. I mean, I would suggest that you practice, if it's hard for you, practice each chord separately, each arpeggio, you know, as I usually suggest. And uh, start slow and increase the speed. As usual, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel for daily guitar lessons. We have incredible videos in here and um, don't forget to click on the link in the description to get the tab. Also, 
I would love to know what's your favorite guitar riff on a pop song. Leave a comment down below with your answer. Thank you so much for watching.